three, two, one. What? <laughs> this is the... Yo, what's going on guys? No, really, what's going on guys? Because I definitely owe you all an apology. I've been gone and all I can say is mental health is no joke, but that's enough of that. I'm back, yes, for real this time. And what I have for you today is the lightest mystery box ever. I've actually just got this um, and it's really light. So this might be the smallest mystery box I've ever unboxed. Let's represent Putty Squad, Mod Squad, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. Can we reach 100? One, 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 one. Yes, only 100. Without further ado, this is our box. It's somewhat big, but it is super light. Literally, I'm just kind of moving it around. Um, I paid 300 buckaroos for this. I hope I got my money's worth. If not, hey, this is all fun. Um, I will mention anything you see in this video will be posted on my eBay store. Yes, I am still running my eBay store. The link will be down below if you guys want to support me and the channel. Without further ado, we are going to get to the close up of this mystery box. Back. Um, funny story, because I've been gone for so long, my source or my plug um, basically said, hey, let me help you catch up with some releases. And I said, sure. All right, and I've got my, boom, handy dandy Japanese box cutter knife. Still going strong. Um, but let's crack this open. I honestly don't know what to expect. Again, it's been forever. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And it looks like there's the classic bubble wrap, but this is blue bubble wrap. That's actually kind of cool. Kind of dig it. Um, we'll just slowly take everything out, right? I'm already noticing some boxes, a lot of bubble wrapped stuff. Um, let's see. All right, that's it for the box. So this is great. We're gonna go ahead and start with whatever's in this. It's kind of big. Oh, is this what I think it is? Yes. These are the brand new DB launchers, and I think it's both of them. Um, yes, it is. Yo, I've actually been wanting these. Um, they're unofficially the Zygarde launchers. I don't really follow Pokemon a whole lot, but um, apparently they're based, or they're unofficially based on these Pokemon uh, legendaries, maybe? I um, haven't followed new Pokemon at all, but... Um, Check it out. These are so pretty. And of course, you know your boy loves black and white, so these are literally made for me. I cannot wait to open these. I think I'll just go ahead and open them here since uh, it's, it's literally a whole set. Uh, TT really outdid themselves here. They are limited edition, I believe. Um, B00, but you're getting an entire launcher plus and if i can crack this out of here that'd be great here we go that was easy um a carabiner grip and these things are actually rare nowadays they haven't made these in a long time so it's really nice that we finally got these and that is buttery smooth brand new the black is great but i think the white takes the cake here it is so freaking pretty. And we'll crack it open as well. Yeah, this is just like a really nice pearly white. Oh my gosh. Super nice. Power gears on both. I'm actually not a fan of power gear. I think it gives a little too much resistance. Unpopular opinion, but here we go. The full set of both. I cannot wait to use these. And let's keep digging. We'll start with some of the smaller things now. This looks really tiny, so I don't think... Oh, okay. I see now. Okay, this is the freaking Devil Blade. 
I have to open this because I've never owned one of these before and it's brand new. Well, it was brand new until I opened it. Check that out. I remember when this came out, everyone thought that these contact points, my camera would focus, uh, everyone thought these contact points were rubber, were supposed to be rubber. That was not the case. It's just kind of paint and that is pretty. Let's keep moving. And we've got another bubble wrap little bundle. I gotta be careful because this thing is really sharp and I just don't want it cutting into the actual whatever's inside because uh, I just don't want that uh, to do any damage. And, oh, okay. I know what this is. I know what this is. So let's crack it open. Well, I cannot open this. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a sealed Strike God chip, the gold one, um, which I believe was also kind of hard to get. So that is completely brand new. That is nice. I'm keeping this sealed because believe it or not, this tiny little accessory is worth like 50 bucks on eBay. Um, sure enough, uh, I got the black one as well. That is awesome. We'll move on to the next kind of small bundle. And again, just a little deal here. I want to be very careful. Okay, this came in a Ziploc. So I don't think this is a sealed product. No, okay. Yo, I know. I've seen, I'm very happy to say I've seen several of these now, but this is probably the most crispy, brand new, or at least as new as it can get ultimate reboot the anime color that's very hard to find nowadays um the only way to get this fun fact was you had to buy i think five months worth of koro koro comics take these little stamps out cut them out and send the whole like i guess pages or pieces of paper to takara tomi and only then would they send one of these out to you so what's awesome is of course it's the ultimate reboot that vault uses in the anime um, at the final battle with Shu and whatnot. So this is in really good shape and it even comes with the instructions. So I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to keep this because I've sold several of these now. Um, they always fetch a high price. We've got just three bundles left. Like I said, a much smaller mystery box, but I'm already freaking happy. Let's get back into it. I'm getting distracted with so much cool stuff, but here we go. More of that blue bubble wrap. I kind of dig it. Oh, okay, okay. So, right off the bat, I'm noticing a second Devil Blade. Now, I don't think this is brand new because it definitely looks worn. It's already got stickers applied. Um, Wow, I've only seen a second one, or this is the second one I've ever seen ever. Um, this Beyblade is so wild. This is Infinite Achilles Shield, and I believe it's a stock combo, seven loop. The crazy thing about this is that Car told me made it really hard to pull both colors. And you need to get both because this comes with the Infinite Shield and the other one, of course, is the stock uh, Infinite Achilles. These, at one point, I swear Infinite Achilles, the red one was like going for 200, 250, and this one was going for about 100, 150. So a lot of people have called Infinite Achilles the J Jupiter Burst because yes, it is a random booster prize and yes, they're really hard to get. So that is awesome. Here's another Beyblade that I, that caught my eye dead hades and wow this is in good shape you know with cho z beyblades just because so much time has passed they tend to oxidize or they tend to be oxidized by now but this the metal's still shiny so this makes me think whoever owned it previously had it stored away um and it's in its stock combo the zephyr is even in good shape this must have been battled maybe 10 times at the most it's got all of its stickers and the frame, it's got that issue, which by the way, it seems like a lot of Dead Hades turn frames are loose, but hey, 
This is awesome. Easily one of my favorite Chosy Beyblades ever. So let's open whatever this is. And okay, I think the sticker just gave it away. I definitely think I know what this is. I swear. I think it is. And like, I just know the sticker sheet kind of just spoiled it for me, but let's open this. Yo, okay. This is Win Knight. I probably won't be keeping this. This will probably go on my eBay because, like I said, I already have this one. Win Knight is awesome. It's so wacky and it's terrible and it's stock form, but that's why I like it. So, finally, we are on our second to last bundle here. And this one's giving us green bubble wrap. That is cool. We're getting so many different colors. Um, you know, I've only ever used clear. I never even knew there was other colors of bubble wrap. But let's crack this open. Oh my gosh, there's like 50 layers of bubble wrap. Okay. Yo, is that a third devil blade? Because if that is, then this makes me think whoever, whatever's like the owner of these, the contents here must have been obsessed with Belial. Literally, this is another double blade. This one's actually worn. Like, look at that. But there's a dynamite Belial. Um, the dynamite from the random booster, I think. The Belial from that one Spriggan set with the blue two armor. And then just a regular two armor. Um, so that was in that first bit. Can we get through the rest? Okay. I hope this is some ASMR, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. yo, is this, this is perfect Belial. I just know it is. Or perfect dangerous Belial? Okay, I almost cut myself. Uh, be careful with this stuff. Yep, okay. Wow, this is a perfect dangerous Belial. It's got all the gears. We have L, F, S, and V gear. Um, you know what's insane, right, is dangerous Belial in its perfect form is worth a lot because you have to buy one, two, three, four separate releases to complete this. And that is just DLC to the max. Thanks, TT, I love you. Um, we're getting DLC now, so what a cash grab. But either way, this combo is just a hamburger and it sucks. It's probably the worst stock combo ever, um, but it looks so cool. And this just looks like a savior Valkyrie. And I'm kind of putting it off to the side because I'm like, if it's just a stock savior, like that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Mine's actually pretty beat up. It's probably the most used Beyblade. So I just switched the core, but literally I've used this so much. I've heard a lot of reports that the driver tends to break for a lot of people, but for me, no, it's perfectly fine. Such a fun Beyblade though. It just jumps. It's the only Valkyrie that ever jumps. Um, so I guess we're gonna open another one. It's been a while since this came out. I think it came out almost a year ago now crazy how time flies um yeah like i said the shot driver's wacky it's arguably the worst stock valkyrie that's ever been released and that's saying a lot um, because there's been so many but check it out it's still really pretty and i just remember how big this box is because there is a db launcher included so we're gonna go ahead and crack it open and if my camera would focus, that'd be awesome. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> Yo, are you serious? Am I seeing this right, guys? This is the Red Savior, the fabled Red Savior. Oh my gosh, I still remember buying like probably four or five of these. Like I remember everyone went crazy. Do I finally have one in my possession? This is nuts. Um, let me just, I'm gonna be really careful here because I do not wanna damage anything. 
but holy cow. Um, yeah, this is a red savior. Let's just uh, crack it open. Man, my hands are shaking. This has to be such a freaking flex of a Beyblade. Um, I think the chances of pulling one are like one in 72. This of course is Rashad's Valkyrie and it's so pretty. Of course, you're still getting the terrible stock combo, but it's red and silver. And a really cool little detail is that it doesn't have the vault kind of stripes on the face, unlike the blue one. The blue one has that tattooed. So that's a cool little detail. Um, side by side, of course, one's red and silver and the other one's blue. So that must have been the highlight of this mystery box, the red savior. Of course, there's so many other good things. Um, I just know that Dead Hades is worth quite a bit nowadays. Um, even the ultimate reboot and all the way down to the Strike God chips. This box was definitely worth it, but let me know what you guys think, guys. Um, I'm really happy with this, but that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.